Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this really soft, natural, youthful makeup look. Super easy, super simple. Let's hop right into it. Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It. It's a cooling and brightening eye balm. I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes as well as around the top of my orbital bone. Can you just see how that lightens the area and kind of just draws a light there so that it cancels out my dark circles. It's kind of amazing, but it's not extremely hydrating. L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm just gonna apply that all over my face using my IT Cosmetics number no. seven complexion brush. I'm applying the smallest amount of foundation. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing makeup. Julep, I think this is like the five in one concealer slash foundation and I'm gonna place that in the center of my face, pat it into the skin because this is where I need a little bit of extra coverage. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just gonna use this in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm using the other side of this brush and I'm patting this into the inner corner of my eye. That is where most people have the most dark and I really want to strategically place this concealer because again I don't want to look like you guessed it I don't want to look like I'm wearing concealer so I'm just placing this super super strategically taking what's ever left over on the brush and putting that underneath my bag just to auto correct a little bit of that darkness but I'm okay with a little bit of darkness poking through because again I want this to look natural stay tuned for my concealer hack video I'm going to show you guys different ways that you can apply concealer without it showing too much texture underneath your eye that's something that I've definitely struggled with so if you are someone that struggles with a lot of creasing or just looking too cakey underneath your eyes a very quick tip video is coming for you subscribe and click that bell this way you get notification when that video goes live here on my channel you can always add more easier to add than take away so i'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on the very edge of that circle and then pat it in with both the concealer side and the foundation side just to blend it in i'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer on the back of my hand picking it up with that same concealer brush and i'm going to apply that underneath my lips i like to put a little bit of light here because i do kind of have darkness around my mouth, makes my mouth look a little bit younger. And I'm just placing that wherever I want to add a little bit of concealer or a little bit of brightness to bring that section on my face subtly forward. And by applying it off the back of my hand, I'm using minimal amount of concealer and it is going to create a very natural finish. Now I'm going to take some cream blush. I honestly don't love this one. The color is beautiful, but the formula just isn't it isn't for me. This is the Pure Lease Blush Glow. And again, I'm gonna apply that to the back of my hand and then using a dome brush, I'm going to pat this very gently into the skin. I'm kind of just gonna put this everywhere because I find that putting blush everywhere ties everything together. I've said this so many times, but don't think of blush as blush. I kind of think of it as like a complexion product. So I put that anywhere where I think the sun would naturally hit or anywhere where I just wanna look a little bit flushed. That kind of flushed look makes us look really youthful. This has really been my go-to brow product. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is a darker shade. I'm just going to push and press my brows up and this is tinted so it is going to fill them in a little bit they're not going to look perfect but they're going to look natural i like to play up my features i want to look like myself but just better and who like who doesn't love that that is a makeup technique that looks beautiful on everyone taking a lighter shade this is in soft brownie brows and i'm going to go over what i just did very gently i find that using a mix of dark and light kind of makes the eyebrows look more natural and gives them a little bit more depth. I'm just taking the concealer side, just whatever is left over from applying my concealer, and I'm just gonna whisk that around the brows. This way I kind of pick up any extra brow gel that may have gotten out of place. And now I'm just gonna take any of that concealer out of the creases around my face because I am gonna go ahead and powder using my Ciate London Pressed Watermelon on a very small brush. I don't want this powder to fluff all over my face because I want to keep that juicy dewy kind of look so by applying powder with a very small brush in strategic places I'm keeping the dew throughout the majority of my face and just setting what I need to set and I'm also going to take a little bit of powder and put that on the sides of my nose this is the most subtle way to contour the nose by just putting a little bit of powder on the sides it takes little to no effort and it's also going to make sure that you don't get greasy around your nose which I hate 
also around my mouth so I'm just gonna press a little bit of powder into those sections where I have those smile lines and of course on my forehead because I do have lines and lines are normal and I also want to set underneath my lips where I put that concealer as well so it looks like I'm using a lot of powder but guys I'm genuinely not and again I'm only placing the powder where I need it and I don't know if you can see but by placing that powder under my lip it also is kind of making it look like I don't have that sagging and I don't want to say sagging because it's not really sagging but I have shadows underneath my mouth because my lower lip kind of like protrudes I don't know how to explain it Morphe continuous setting spray as always and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this bronzing palette I think it's called like basic beauty again I'll put it down below I don't have it in front of me and I don't remember the name but I'm just taking a big old fluffy brush and applying that bronzer into the lid guys this just gives a little bit of depth to your eye it's so subtle so easy but like makes a difference it just kind of draws attention to the eye but no one's gonna know that you put bronzer in your crease so I'm just going back and forth back and forth I'm bringing a little bit of that underneath the eye one of the simplest things that you can do when getting ready in the morning just throw a little bronzer and I'm gonna put it all over my lid now too I'm taking that same color and I'm using a flat shadow brush and I'm just gonna put that on the outer third of my eye just to like elongate the eyes and put a little bit of depth in that outer third back in with that fluffy brush just to blend it out taking the shade in the middle which is a little bit more of a contouring shade for me. This The first one is a little bit too orange for my complexion. And I'm gonna apply that using an angled, I think this is a complex beauty brush. I really love the shape of this brush, but I noticed that when applying this powder with this brush, it was kind of taking away the makeup that I had already laid down. So I did decide to go ahead and use a more fluffier brush. I grabbed this Jaclyn Hill brush. I will put it down below because I don't remember the name of it. And I'm just gonna apply that underneath my cheeks, just your typical contouring slash bronzing I call it brontouring where I'm just adding a little bit of depth to the face but only using bronzer I'm not going to use contour and bronzer because again we want this to look as natural as possible and I really love this shade guys this bronzing palette is beautiful check it out it looks super super cheap no offense but the product stunning and I'm also going to apply a little bit underneath my neck or my jawline I should say just to help the jaw look a little bit more sculpted and bring a little bit of structure to the face and then I'm going to take what's ever left over on that brush and just throw it into my crease to just bring everything together I don't like this mascara this is from NARS I'll put it down below because I don't remember the name of it I think it's like extreme something this wand is very extreme yeah, and I have not used this mascara again since using it this one time. It kind of just made them look really chunky. It definitely gave me volume, but I'm someone that likes a lengthening. Like if I had to choose between lengthening and volumizing mascara, I would always go with lengthening just because I'm someone that doesn't have very long lashes, but I have enough lashes. Um, so if you're someone that loves you some volume, I would check out this mascara again listed down below but it wasn't for me and I'm also going to apply it on my lower lashes as well yeah no see my face I really don't love it I'm kind of like eh, it's all right I love this though this is from complex beauty complex culture I don't remember but this is a highlighting palette I'm gonna take the darker shade which has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it but it's really beautiful and it doesn't look pink on my skin I've been using this highlight non-stop and if you guys have been paying attention to my YouTube channel I haven't really been using a lot of highlight but this one I love Mac this is the stripped down lip liner matches the natural shadows of my face so I can overdraw the crap out of my lips and it will look natural haven't used this lip liner in a minute, went through my collection and was like, wow, I really, really need to use this. Oh my God, this lipstick I also forgot about. This is from Flower Beauty. I think it's called, it's like a peachy nude. I'll put the name of it down below. Again, I'm going to take my concealer brush, just what's ever left over on that brush to help clean up around my lips. And as always, I always go back in with my lip liner to reinforce that lip and just kind of perfect it. And that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys can just see the peachy tone all tie in beautifully with one another we look youthful dewy delicious glowy and I just this is what I feel the best in I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below check out the description box if there are any products that you're interested in that I did not know the name of and I will see you guys in my next one bye